the earliest version was pretty much built out of plastic parts from a remote control car and just had arms. And so, Zelius has come a long way since then. I wanted the parts for this robot to be somewhat human in proportion, but in their own way unique. I've always enjoyed building robots, but one of the things that I've always ran into was the fact that I don't always have all the parts that I need. Usually what it would be is I would be halfway through a project and realize that it was some sort of integrated circuit or a particular capacitor that I was completely missing. And, you know, at that point, the project would be put on hold or I would completely forget about it and move on to something else. But when I started building Salvius, what I really tried to do was build it out of things that I had available. And so the progress really, it didn't get slowed down by very much. If I, if I didn't have something, I made it. In only a few years, the robot went from looking like this, to this. While building this robot, I found that it's less of a project, and more of an evolution. Whereas you might define a project as an endeavor that has a set beginning and end, building Salvius has really, you know, it's changed over time. There's... There's not really a set beginning, since I was probably planning it years before I actually built the robot. And literally, I'll build one part of it, and then I'll think of a new idea and change that part to suit the new idea.